this case is kind of confusing. What's going on guys, Ty Tech here, back again with another case review video for you guys here today. And today we got a whole new company on the channel. We've got the UB Mag XT from Subcase, which I've been rocking on my iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max for about two weeks now. It's actually become one of my favorite cases to use for a number of different reasons. From the design, to the build, to the feel, to the features, this case has actually become one of my favorite cases to use. And it's an absolute steal for the price. Right now, you guys can pick up this case for $26.95 from Subcase directly, and you can even get it cheaper from Amazon. But there are just some things about it that kind of left me scratching my head like... What? Before we get into the video, guys, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy what you see, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment down below whether or not you enjoy to carry your phone in a case or if you like to carry it naked. I'll... Now, I'll go into some of the more confusing things about this case later on in the video, but let's start with the pros. The design of this case is absolutely amazing to me. The metallic backplate on the back of this case gives it a really nice shine and glimmer whenever light hits it, especially on the Titan Gray or Thai Gray color, as Amazon calls it. What is that? Which we had today on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I noticed actually color shifts really nicely between a natural gray color and a really subtle natural titanium looking kind of color. And we got the blue color for my iPhone 15 Pro. Um, what I really like about these cases is that they actually color match the colors of the phones really, really well, um, especially if you get the Titan gray or the blue version or even the black version to go with your iPhone. These colors actually work really, really well together. You can pick up the UB Mag XT case in five different colors. You got black, green, red, and of course the blue and tie gray that we have for you guys here today. And that color matching effect actually lends itself well to some of the more subtle things about this case, like the buttons for your power, volume, and action button are color matched to the color of the case that you get. So that's actually a really nice touch to this case as well. Although they're not that satisfying to press, but that's also a huge nitpick. You do have a red indicator on your action button so that you know exactly what it is that you're pressing. So it's not all that big of a deal, um, but I really like the fact that the buttons are color matched to the case that you're getting. It's a very nice, subtle touch. And the metallic finish does a really good job of holding off dirt and scratches. Now the in-hand feel that you get from holding the UV Mag XT case is absolutely top notch as well. Going along the side, you guys do have ridges so you guys can get some extra grip when holding this phone case. And those ridges lead right up into those TPU impact resistant corners so that they can protect your phone whenever you drop it. But more on that later. Whenever I'm holding my phone while using the UB Mag XT case, my hand usually ends up resting right where that UB logo is, right in the middle of your MagSafe magnets. And that's another really good thing about this phone case. The MagSafe magnets are strong, like really strong. It takes a lot of force to actually get my MagSafe pop socket off of this case. So if you're a person that enjoys using MagSafe accessories like pop sockets, wallets, car mounts, charging adapters, charging stations, you're never gonna have to worry about them coming off your phone case or your phone not being connected when you're using this phone case because those magnets are so ridiculously strong. With the UV Mag XT, you also get a really nice lip going around your screen so you never have to worry about the front of your phone taking any sort of scratches or smudges whenever you lay it down on a flat surface. And that leads right into your cameras. Probably the biggest feature about the UB Mag XT is going to be the camera door that works to protect your cameras from taking any sort of cracks or damage whenever you drop your phone. It's going to protect your cameras immensely. Opening up that camera door, you guys do have a nice microfiber material to protect your camera from scratches whenever your camera door is closed. And there's actually a lot of resistance from this camera door. You can actually open this as many times as you want and the resistance isn't going to change. I've been using this phone case for about two or three weeks now. And every time I go to open and close the camera door on my cameras, the resistance has never changed. And that makes it so good that you can actually second as a kickstand. So you can prop your phone up at almost any angle and have a comfortable viewing experience for your phone whenever you're using the UV Mag XT case. Now it can feel a little bit loose when actually popping it open after multiple times, but the resistance at the actual hinge does not change. But of course, you do have to take the good with the bad. 
This is actually quite a heavy phone case. Since I've been using it on my iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max, it has gotten a little bit heavier, which kind of defeats the purpose, especially if you bought the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max for the lighter in hand feel. This case actually makes it really, really heavy to hold your phone for long periods of time, especially when using it one handed. And the camera door slash kickstand slash biggest annoyance in the world because it can actually be a really huge hindrance to taking any sort of photo or video, especially in the moment. Like, can you imagine seeing something that you really, really want to take a snapshot or a picture of? And then you go to take a picture and then your screen is just black because your camera door is closed. So you go to open your camera door and you rush to take the photo and then the moment's gone. It's definitely like a give and take with the camera door on the UV Mag XT because it does provide a lot of good utility like protecting your cameras and adding an extra layer of protection, protection to your cameras and being able to be a kickstand so you can enjoy your phone at different viewing angles, but it doesn't make it any less annoying. Now, here comes the confusing things about this phone case. If you guys go to Subcase's website, you know how they always have the promotional material on the cases so you can actually look through them. Take a look at this one, guys. It says military grade drop protection, 48 inches. Now, I, I went to college. I'm, I'm a little bit smart. I'm a little, I'm a little bit educated. Huh? But 48 inches, last time I checked, converts to four feet. So you're saying that your phone case with military grade drop protection can only be dropped from four feet what bro what are you talking about man correct me if i'm wrong but that doesn't sound like military grade drop protection especially when another one of subcases cases especially when another one of subcases cases actually won CNET's award for annual drop test with highest total feet with the UV Mag Pro, but yet you couldn't give that sort of drop protection to the UV Mag XT. I don't really understand that. I don't know what sort of changes went into the design to make that happen, but four feet, military grade drop protection, uh-uh. And also you don't really know what you're getting when you're buying the UV Mag XT, depending on where you're buying it from, like, for example, if you actually went to buy this case off of Amazon, the camera door on the blue case is actually color matched to the case itself. But then if you go to sub case, the camera door on the blue case is not color matched. And then why aren't the camera doors on all the cases color matched? Like you did it on the Titan gray or the Thai gray and the blue and the black, but the green and the red are kind of just hanging out to dry. I don't know, would it really have killed Subcase to color match the camera doors in those cases? Like would it really have killed them to make them green or red instead of just straight black? It's not really all that consistent with the marketing that Subcase is presenting with the UV Mag XT. It's not the worst thing in the world, it's just very, very confusing. I don't know, there's just some things about this case and I guess the marketing of this case that kind of, that aren't necessarily bad, but they just left me scratching my head a little bit, you know? Overall, I think the UB Mag XT from Subcase is a very, very solid case. You're only paying just about $27, even less than that if you order it from Amazon, for a case with a great in-hand feel, lots of features, a really cool design, and a durable feeling design, I guess? especially when compared to other 50, 60, and $70 cases, but there are just some things that Subcase needs to work on. Continuity between the marketing, make sure people know what they're getting when they order this case, and four foot drop protection. No, that's not gonna work. But if any of you guys actually choose to pick up the UB Mag XT from Subcase, I don't really think you guys would be all that disappointed. You guys get a great in-hand feel with this case, plenty of features, and a relatively cheap price for what you're getting with this phone case. And it does come from an award-winning company, so it is reputable in some way. They just gotta get their shit together. But guys, this has been my review of the UV Mag XT from Subcase. If you or anyone you know are looking for a tremendously feeling case for an extremely low price with some admittedly confusing aspects, I'll leave some shopping links in the description below. You guys can pick up the UB Mag XT from Subcase directly for $26.95 or from Amazon for even cheaper than that. And you can pick it up in five different colors. You got black, metallic green, metallic red, and the blue and Titan gray that we showed off 
for you guys here today and you can get it in all iPhone 15 models. But guys, this has been Ty Tech. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.